Today we will be discussing the topic of retinal detachment. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Apoor Grover from Vision Eye Center. Now what is retinal detachment? Retinal detachment is an emergency situation wherein the neurosensory tissue at the back of the eye called the retina responsible for our vision separates from its normal position resulting in a visual loss. The longer the retinal detachment goes untreated, the greater is the risk of permanent vision loss in the eye. What causes retinal detachment? With aging, it is seen that the vitreous jelly, which is a gel-like substance that fills the eye, starts undergoing liquefaction and shrinkage. As it undergoes shrinkage, it eventually separates from its attachment from the surface of the retina and the optic nerve although this usually does not result in a complication at times it may cause tug of the vitreous jelly on the surface of the retina and it may progress to a retinal tear formation this liquefied vitreous can then seep under the form, uh, formed retinal tear and lead to a retinal detachment or separation of the retina from its normal position what are the symptoms of retinal detachment? When a patient experiences this, they will see certain appearance of floaters or specks that appear in their field of vision. They may see flashes of light. They may see a curtain-like shadow that appears in the peripheral visual field, which may progress centrally and result in a complete loss of vision. Now, what to do in case these symptoms appear? Now, it is important to note that in case these symptoms appear, it is important that you see your ophthalmologist immediately so the pupils can be dilated and the retina examined in detail. It is important to note that retinal detachment is an emergency which requires urgent treatment so as to preserve any vision and to prevent any permanent loss of vision. Your ophthalmologist will use certain eye drops to dilate the pupils and then have a good look at the back of the eye with the help of certain instruments and lenses. If a retinal tear has developed and it hasn't yet progressed to retinal detachment, it can be treated with laser therapy or with a certain freeze therapy called cryotherapy so as to create permanent adhesions at the margins of the tear and to prevent its progression to retinal detachment. Now, if the retinal tear has already progressed to retinal detachment, it is important that surgical treatment is taken up on an urgent basis. Based on your examination findings, your ophthalmologist will advise you surgical options which are best suited in your case. Some of the commonly performed surgical procedures for retinal detachment include a scleral buckling, wherein a silicon tire-like material is sutured to the white part of the eye or the sclera to create an indentation which presses over the retinal tear and reduces the traction of the jelly-like substance called vitreous on the retina helping in reattachment of the retina. Alongside this, the retinal break is treated with the cryotherapy or freeze therapy so as to create permanent adhesions around the retinal tear and preventing a redetachment of the retina. The second commonly done surgery involves a surgery called vitrectomy wherein the vitreous jelly of the eye is completely removed by the surgeon with the help of a vitreous cutter along with any tissue that is tugging on the retina. The fluid in the eye is then completely replaced with a tamponade agent which may be a gas or silicon oil. The retinal break is treated with laser therapy in this procedure so as to create permanent chorioretinal adhesions around the retinal tear and to prevent any redetachment of the retina later. Now we will talk about the post-operative care and expected outcomes following a retinal detachment surgery. After a retinal detachment surgery, your doctor may advise you to maintain certain positioning often a face down positioning so that the tamponade agent which has been injected can best act on the retinal tear and allow the retina to remain attached. After a successful surgery, the vision is likely to improve gradually over the next few weeks or months. However, it is seen that even after a successful surgery, although functional vision can be regained in most patients, a large number of patients will not completely recover all of their lost vision. 
In some patients, a second procedure may be required to successfully reattach the retina. If gas is used as a tamponade agent, it is seen that it will absorb by itself over the next few weeks or months. Your eye will be filled with bodily fluid. If silicon oil is used as a tamponade agent, it will require a second surgery which is usually performed after 3 to 4 months of retinal reattachment to remove the silicon oil. I hope this video was useful for you. If you have any queries, you can leave a comment down below. For a consultation, please contact us at Vision Eye Center 